Good morning, folks. Day 57, I believe. It's Tuesday, June 9th. Uh, yesterday, we ended skipping a small section because of rock slides and trouble going to get in there. But uh, so today, I may get to Kennedy Meadows. I don't know, it may stop short, depending on the time it is. But I'll have to come back and do that little section. No big deal. Because I plan to come back and do San Jacinto anyways. Swing by here, do that little section. So, we'll see if we get to Kermit Beers today. Kennedy Meadows. I have packages with my Sierra gear. And my air mattress popped again. So, I think I'm going to buy a new one if they have them. So, I don't know, we'll see. I got up a little early, obviously, because hard to sleep without an air mattress. And, uh, we had around camp for a while. Nobody's stirring. Some more people are quitting. This is what it is, unfortunately. Um, the two I'm definitely going to hike with, they are uh, still sleeping. So, I've got a little bit of a climb today. Go up to uh, 77 or 8,000, something like that. I know, we'll see when we get there. Uh, but it's uphill for the first, I think, five miles, I think. Maybe six. Something like that. I know. I just got to keep walking. But, a little tired. Chilly. But it's only going to get worse or better. I think it's going to get better. It's the Sierras. We want to see snow. We want it cold. We want to have the fun. Don't want it to be easy. That wouldn't be as much fun, right? Wouldn't be as much fun. So I'm going to get going. See if I can show you guys some more stuff today. Uh, it's going to start getting real pretty in the next few days. And I'm really excited for it. So, we'll talk to you guys later. So, folks, I got about four or so miles in actual miles had a little bit to hike into the trail in the first place from where we camped last night off trail but just a little per se rant what's on jelly beans mind right <clears throat> a lot of people quit the you know any trail and people are quitting right now and they have been for a while but when you quit or you're thinking about quitting don't fear monger everybody you know, every every time I see somebody, they're getting ready to quit. They tell everybody how hard things are going to be, and oh, this is going to happen, and that's going to happen, and oh, you know, I don't know, it's going to be so horrible. It's like they're trying to get other people to quit around them, so they feel better about their decision. You know, I mean, if you decide to quit, hey, just just call it. You know, there's nothing wrong with stopping. You know, if you physically can't. Emotionally can't, mentally can't, you know, whatever. Or you just don't want to. You know, don't try to take other people down. You know, camp last night, the guy was in there again. Oh, resupplying's going to be so hard. You know, this is this is this and that, and this is so bad. You know, it's... Other people are still excited, you know. It, it gets people down. And it puts a, like a dark cloud over everything. You know, please don't do that. You know, I mean, I understand, you know, you want to justify, you know, your decision. But it's kind of unfair to other people, you know what I mean? It's a, and it kind of sucks. I had a pretty good mental attitude last night in, a, in, a, in the camp. And then when that came in, you could see it change. You know, it was just dark cloud. So... Hey, just don't do it, you know? This brings people down. 
makes everything feel weird. So, you know, that's what's on Jelly Bean's mind today. I've been thinking about that all morning because it's like, man, it just really stinks to hear that, you know? And other people, you can see it in their eyes going, oh man, do you th am I going to be able to do it? Is it going to be, you know, I was excited, but now I don't know. And you don't want to give other people that thought, you know? Let them keep their excitement. So, I don't know. That's just what's on my mind this morning. So, please, try not to do that to others. I've seen it all the way across the trail. So, all right. Talk to you later. Well, folks, I'm not sure if that picture there was a picture of Mount Whitney or not. It's really tall. And there's lots of snow on it. And it's north northeast of me, which is kind of correct. Not sure, but uh, just got my first look at the uh, snow-covered Sierras. Came around a uh, side of the mountain there, and there's that tall line of mountains with lots of snow on them. Getting excited. Um, about 9 o'clock, I got about uh, 8 miles in. So... I don't know, we'll see if I'm going to push it all the way to Kennedy Meadows today or not. I want to go in at the general store, which I think is 21 miles to get off trail to go into the general store. Then a mile hike in, so 22 miles. Well, we'll see what time I get in there. Uh, I'm at the top of my climb now, a little over 8,000 feet. So, I don't really think I have much, I mean, I'm just going to go up and down. It always does. But uh, nothing, nothing real big. So, I don't know, we'll see... Uh, pretty early well see if we get in there I don't want to go in too late because everything will be closed and why not just hang out in a beautiful camp spot you know instead of going in so I don't know we'll see but uh, again the uh, not the one without the snow but the one just over my shoulder with the uh, all the snow on it we'll see okay let's head It's probably about one o'clock. I think I have 16 or so miles in. So we'll probably go ahead and go into Kennedy Meadows today. There's five more miles plus the mile road walk in. So I think we may do another six. Yeah, been in the meadow for a little while. Awful pretty. Back to kind of the desert, though. And then, uh, last few miles, a couple of them be right along the river, I believe. If there's any water in it. And then we'll be into Kennedy Meadows. And then... I hang out there for a day or two, get my gear sorted out, I pick up my bear can, my ice axe, and my micro spikes from Grumpy Bears, make sure I get everything packed though I want it, figure out the weight distribution real well, kind of have an idea, but it may have changed since before I started the hike, so we'll see. Well, it's getting warmer out now. It's nice and cool this morning. Oh, we'll stay in there probably. Today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Probably get out Friday, possibly Thursday, but 
The odds are Friday. Laundry, shower, new air pad. I'm also looking for some gloves. I don't like my gloves set up for the Sierra. So, see what we can find. Back to the same desert trail for a while here until we get past Kennedy and things are going to change, start changing. Voice a little raspy today. Cold air. Dry, cold air. <clears throat> so, looks like I get to start and walking. In there. There's the river. So I can hear it. Somewhere down there. All right. So, folks, another mile marker today. <laughs> nice. Awesome. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Seven hundred miles. Yeah. Oh. And thank gosh, only a couple more, and we're out of the desert. Another couple Ooh. hikers just making 700 miles. Hey guys. <laughs> Couscous and Black Market. Hey. <laughs> All right. 2.2 more and we get to walk into Kennedy Meadows. Yep. All right. That's, nice. That's what we're waiting for. Cheeseburgers. Black Market wants Dr. Pepper. Oh yeah. Big one. Two liter. Couscous. You know what he wants. Couscous. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll talk to you later. Well, folks, we are walking up to the Kennedy Meadows General Store. And as customary, Clapping is not going to happen, as there's nobody here. So, I clapped for myself. That's it. I'm here. Jonas store. Did the 21 miles of the PCT, yeah, and then the extra road walk into Kennedy Meadows General Store yesterday, and now I'm at Grumpy Bears. Gonna get my packages, figure out some gear issues. My pad keeps delaminating. Uh, guy at Triple Crown's gonna call Nemo here this morning for me and see what the heck they can do. So. Got to Kennedy Meadows, do our gear work today, and uh, you know, get out maybe tomorrow or the next day. So this is the end of 57 video, and uh, it, was, hey, it was nice. You definitely see the difference. It's changing, and when we leave, it, it's really going to start changing. So I don't know if there will be any video today maybe a couple shots of uh, Kennedy Meadows. I may add 58 into today, or the last two days videos, excuse me. 
But I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I'm lovely. And uh, talk to you guys later.